My name is Court Bowman. I'm the president of Cleveland Consulting. I want to thank you all for watching this video. We have been playing around with, as I imagine a lot of you have been, um, OpenAI's chat engine and their document processing and some of their audio processing files and processes, and we've found some interesting uses for it. So I want to walk you through a demo file we've built just for our own usage. In this, you can drag any number of documents. You can see we've got some text documents, some audio documents in here. Um, and for any one of these documents, you can drag it in here. I'll show you how it works. You can create a new record. I've got a proposal we wrote for one of our clients. Um, so drop a PDF of that document in there. We can grab the transcript of it. And then we're going to ask some questions about it. So for this document, for example, I can come over and I can say, um, I want an overview of this document. So I've drug a PDF in here. Let me give it a name, um, client, client proposal, for example. I can say, well, I want to ask some questions about it. So I can say, as a customer buying custom software, tell me something about this text. So I'll say, give me a brief overview of the deliverables in bullet list format. Sure, I'm spelling words correctly. So I'll, let me say that and then I'll say go. So, what we're doing is we're asking OpenAI's chat engine to review this PDF document and tell me something about it. So, we're going to get, in this case, we're going to design the system, we're going to come up with a budget, we're going to come up with some operational simplifications to make their process simpler. We have the payment schedule and uh, overall system development proposal. That's the bullet points of the deliverables from this system pretty quickly based off of this quick brief. Now you can imagine how useful this could be. You can drag any PDF in here. You can give the OpenAI chat engine a role that you're fulfilling. So for example, you could drag a contract into this. You could say, as a client trying to keep my custom data secure, tell me the 10 items on this contract that are most worrisome. And their chat engine will come up with a uh, with an answer for that. As you can imagine, relying on a language model to give you legal insight or real insight on a document at this point is a little um, probably unrecommended. But it's very interesting to us to be able to take large text documents. You can see I've got uh, the Apple Watch EULA. That's about 600 pages. Um, I to, I, as one test, I've dropped the letters of St. Augustine. That's about 600 or so different documents. Um, into this and you can ask it substantive questions about those documents. Uh, computers have always been good about asking technical questions, how many words are in a document, but what is the overall goal of this document is a question that computers haven't been very good at answering lately and with some real language models they're able to do that. I can drag in, I can type another question in here, I can say um, uh, give me a summary, so I'll say uh, for a similar role, so as a, uh, let me cl click this one. So uh, for this one, I said as a customer buying custom software, give me a brief overview. For this one, I'll say, uh, I gotta commit this record because it's just a quick demo. As a customer buying custom software, give me a summary of the proposal. Give me a summary of the proposal. Again, I need to, well, I probably don't need to spell things correctly but I'm going to give you a summary of the proposal. I'll say go, and this will go grab the text of that PDF and give me a summary of that PDF in reasonably quick format. Obviously for demo, I'm doing something with a shorter. So Cleveland Consulting is proposing to develop custom software for this was the client at the time for K of Nanian. This was gonna be a $40,000 project. Payments are gonna be made in three installments. Models, rooms, options, Kehovenanian is a custom home builder. That was the system we built for them at that time. Um, and this is a pretty good overall summary of that proposal. Um, anyways, I hope this is useful to you. Um, analyzing PDF documents is something that's been incredibly interesting to us. And I can imagine as you look at this, your mind is spinning with all the different ways this could be useful to you as you analyze contracts or proposals or emails or correspondence or anything else you can imagine. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate your time.